So what is up with Zillow? The most popular word in residential real estate. Maybe you have the app on your phone. Maybe you spend hours of your time dreaming about $40 million houses, or maybe you're on there actively hunting out a home that you and your family can afford or snooping on the neighbors a little bit to see what their home actually sold for. Maybe you're a real estate professional and you hate it. You're a real estate professional and you love it. What's actually going on with Zillow? I'm going to spend a little bit of time here in this video answering that for you. I'm a real estate broker in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, and we're not huge fans of Zillow. Now, I don't have any super harmful personal attack to make on Zillow. I just think they're generally not as good at what they do as people think. I think their primary funding source is real estate agents, and their goal is to be a massive lead generator and seller of leads to real estate agents. And that is not always the best thing for people that are actually looking for houses. The site is not necessarily designed to get you the best information in the shortest period of time, it's designed to get you to give them your information so they can sell it to a real estate agent. And there's nothing illegal about that. There's not, it's not even shady. They've been a massive multi, 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 multi hundreds of millions of dollars experiment into how can they make a bunch of money in the residential real estate space. I don't blame them for that. This is a capitalist country. I'm all for it. Here's the deal though. For you, and you are probably highly likely to be someone who uses that website to look at houses that you want to buy, to look at houses to invest in, to look at houses to get a feel for your neighborhood. And at the end of the day, the thing that is most important to you probably should be the fact that Zillow is not a reliable source of that date. Their data is typically outdated at least a little bit. In a state like Texas, where I am, it's really inaccurate oftentimes, not all the time, but the majority of the time the data is inaccurate. And I'm talking about the Zestimate, the estimated value of a specific property, and literally the, the status of a property where it might show it as for sale when it's not for sale. It might show it as for sale and it's already sold. It might show it as for sale when it's really for rent. It might show it as for sale and it was never for sale. The reason for that is Texas is a non-disclosure state. You're not required to disclose a bunch of personal information about your personal property. Zillow is what we call an aggregator. They go grab data from all over the internet, a, a deed rec recording, a tax recording, a mortgage document that's being recorded, but that's all incomplete data. They might get home sold data, but they don't know that the seller gave the buyer a $15,000 credit after that sales price. So the home really sold for $15,000 less, even though that's what was publicly, that's what they could get their hands on as far as public data. I hope I'm giving you an, an example that makes sense to you. Ultimately, you cannot trust the data on Zillow. You just can't do it. It's not good for you. It's going to mislead you the majority of the time. The other thing about Zillow's primary goal not really being to serve you, it's to serve themselves and ultimately to serve a transaction with a real estate agent who wants to buy your name, phone number, and email so they can call you and try to sell you a home based on what you did on the platform. Now, again, let's be very clear. The vast majority of the time, I think Zillow is just, you know, trying to be a good business and figure out a profitable model. What they've done really, really well is they've created the singular place on the internet the A number one place that people go to get information about homes. That they've done brilliantly. Um, they outperformed Realtor.com, which is an embarrassment to the real estate community because Realtor.com used to be owned by uh, the National Association of Realtors. So here's the deal. If you're using Zillow, it's not the worst thing you can do, but I strongly recommend that you use a local real estate agent's website. If you're in Ohio and you're in Columbus, and you're on the east side of Columbus, which obviously I don't know that market very well, I would find a reputable real estate agent that's been in that market for a while that has a scaled website that is updated quickly, and I would go use that Tom or Susan or Bonnie or whatever. I would use their website. It is most likely to be updated most frequently with local accurate information from the local multiple listing system, the local realtor database. Here in the DFW area, our website is dallashomerealty.com. Go to dallashomerealty.com. You're going to get a website that's updated every 15 minutes directly from the realtor database, the multiple listing system, as well as some off-market properties that we can get you access to as well. But that's your best bet is to go to a local agent with local expertise, with local relationships, 
that can get a local feed to the local MLS updated frequently. Now, other things that Zillow does is get you access to mortgage lenders and how do I find out mortgage rates and things. A good local real estate agent can also get you connected with a good local lender. Mortgage is not as local as real estate is, but there are some local benefits. There's some local knowledge that can be helpful. Property types, land types, loan types that cooperate and collaborate with certain property types and certain transaction types. If you're a veteran, you should take advantage of your veteran benefits. Going to a national platform that's trying to please everybody all in one place is not going to be the best place for you to take advantage of those benefits. You want to find someone that specializes in VA loans that can help you with that specifically. The same is true for insurance and title and inspections and movers and those things. Find a local expert. The real estate agent is going to be the expert that has the connections to those other people instead of trying to find 30 local experts by finding each of those things one at a time. Zillow can help you do that in a broad spectrum, but they're not local. They don't have those relationships and they don't get the job done as well as others. So look, I don't hate Zillow. I have never given Zillow a dollar and never will because I don't think they serve the consumer well. I don't even think they can serve the agents as well. They are a resource, but they are a national resource without great data, without a care and concern for the local consumer, and I think without even really a care and concern for the local agent. They're experimenting. They're trying to figure out how they can make tons of money. There's nothing wrong with that, but they don't have a fiduciary responsibility to serve you in the local area. They do not have an ethical obligation like a licensed real estate professional. They do not have local knowledge. And I think you're way, way, way better off. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we would love to earn that trust and serve you. Our information is below this video. You can join one of our Facebook groups for people moving to the area. You can take our Texas Fit Finder scorecard and see if we're a good fit for you. Otherwise, give us a call, shoot us an email, visit our website. All that's below. Comment below. We respond to every single one. We either do that right here on YouTube or wherever you're seeing this video, or we can connect with you offline and work with you one on one. Subscribe to the channel. We do videos about lots of local information and some national stuff like this. If the video was valuable, like it, share it with a friend. We'll talk to you on the next.